Hello and welcome to Android TV Box tutorial. On this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add the maintenance to your media player. Um, it's quite quite handy um, at times when, you're, when you've got a few um, issues and errors that appear. Um, so what you need to do is go to Systems, Settings, add-ons and what you do is then go to get add-ons scroll down to super repo all all these have been added already so you don't have to um, you don't have to figure it out and then you would go to programs add-ons If, if I'm using a, a keypad, um, the Droid Mark keypad, and this is quite handy. If you press that middle Android logo there, it will keep your cursor stationary. So this one, this particular um, keypad, it's uh, got a Bluetooth signal, so you, you just move it around like that, and then the cursor will move. Uh, once it's stationary, I press the button again. If you can see it, you press the button, it keeps it stationary. So you could just use the D pad, which is something that I prefer to use, especially on this media player. So, what we do is I'll use the D pad, push down, go down to the very bottom of this list. You could have just went up, but I'm just being extra. Okay, and what we want is the the uh, XBMC hub maintenance so you just press enter on that and install and as you can see it's installing that for you nice and quickly so let's see it has um, been enabled so what you do now it's been enabled as it tells you there as well you would come out of there and this would now be in your programs move on the d-pad again so click on programs, go to program add-ons, and you'll see it there at the bottom right here. Um, so we can go to that. This is particularly good. This has um, a tweak on there that you can use. It's quite handy. Um, if you just go, just forget all that information, just go all the way to the bottom and press OK. Press OK, it's just giving you some information. That's the introduction. So we're now into the XBMC um, hub maintenance. And in order to use it, it will, will have several things that you can use on here. If you scroll down, uh, the picture doesn't load it um, all the way for some reason. So let me just go back out, come back in and see if that's made a difference. this time okay so we're just gonna go back up to the top and there's um, several things you can do on there um, could be won't experiment too much in case you wipe everything off because it because it can um, install things for you and pre-install things for you so just as long as you know what you're doing um, it should be fine but there's a, one good tweak on here if you go to the tweaks section um, press enter uh, it's got a list of stuff on here. One of them's pretty handy, uh, and that is um, the Add Zero Cache Advance XML. And what this does is just stops it from um, playing before it's fully buffered. So you could sometimes it, it if you pause it, it doesn't continue to buff buff or receive the the data for whatever particular content that you're trying to view. Um, and what this does is is continues the buffering of the of the um, content, and also it removes the limitation from one hundred percent. 
So once it usually once it gets to one hundred percent, it just stops and tries to play, even though it's probably not ready to play. Um, so this is pretty handy um, to to avoid all that. So you just press enter and press yes and okay. And you will need to um, come all the way out of there just to see the effects of anything that you add. You normally have to do that with everything that you install. Just um, exit the, the, the media player and then go back into it and the changes would have been made. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, we're going to have a few more new ones coming up so stay tuned. Please um, subscribe to the YouTube videos and this helps you to learn more about your device and makes it much easier to handle and removes the frustration if you're quite new to everything. So until next time, take care, bye.